Inflation is the general increase in the prices of goods and services over time. It reduces the purchasing power of money and erodes the real value of wages. In other words, when inflation is high, your money buys less than before. Wage growth is the increase in the average earnings of workers over time. It reflects the changes in productivity, skills, demand and supply of labor, and bargaining power of workers. In other words, when wage growth is high, your income rises faster than before. Ideally, wage growth should be higher than inflation, so that workers can enjoy higher living standards and afford more goods and services with their income. However, this is not always the case. In the UK, inflation has been soaring to record levels in recent months, driven by factors such as rising energy and food prices, supply chain disruptions, labor shortages, and global tensions. According to the Office for National Statistics ONS, inflation measured by the Consumer Price Index CPI, reached 10.7% in November 2022, the highest rate since 1983. Meanwhile, wage growth has been slowing down, despite being at historically high levels earlier in the year. According to the ONS, average weekly earnings excluding bonuses rose by 6.6% in the three months to February 2023 compared with a year ago. This was lower than the 6.9% growth recorded in the previous period and below the expectations of economists. This means that inflation is outpacing wage growth in the UK, leading to lower real living standards for workers. Real wages are wages adjusted for inflation, which reflect the actual purchasing power of income. According to Statista, real wages fell by 2.6% in the three months to January 2023 compared with a year ago. This was the largest drop since 2009, when the UK was hit by the global financial crisis. The gap between inflation and wage growth is also widening across different sectors and regions of the UK. According to Investment Monitor, private sector wages grew by 7.2% annually in the three months to November 2022, while public sector wages grew by only 3.3%. The finance and business services sector saw the highest wage growth at 8.3%, while the construction sector saw the lowest at 6.2%. London had the highest wage growth at 8%, while Northern Ireland had the lowest at 4.9%. The divergence between inflation and wage growth has serious implications for workers and businesses alike. Workers are facing a squeeze on their disposable income and savings, which could affect their consumption and investment decisions. Businesses are facing higher costs of production and labor, which could affect their profitability and competitiveness. The Bank of England has been under pressure to raise interest rates to curb inflation and support the value of the pound. However, higher interest rates could also dampen economic growth and employment prospects. The government has been urged to increase public sector pay and welfare benefits to protect the most vulnerable groups from inflation. The outlook for inflation and wage growth remains uncertain and depends on how quickly the UK can overcome the challenges posed by COVID-19, Brexit climate change, and geopolitical tensions. The UK needs a balanced and sustainable approach to ensure that workers can enjoy higher living standards without compromising economic stability and growth. In this section, we will discuss how the Bank of England is calling for workers to restrain their pay demands, while ignoring the role of capital in passing on higher costs to consumers. The Bank of England is the central bank of the United Kingdom responsible for setting interest rates and maintaining monetary stability. The Bank of England has recently raised its interest rate from 0.1% to 0.25%, the first increase since 2018, in an attempt to curb inflation, which reached a 10-year high of 5.1% in November 2022. The Bank of England has also warned that inflation could rise further to 6% or more in the coming months, due to supply chain disruptions energy price hikes, and global demand pressures. The Bank of England expects inflation to fall back to its 2% target by 2024, but only if wage growth remains moderate and does not fuel a wage price spiral. A wage price spiral is a situation where higher wages lead to higher costs for businesses, 
which then pass on those costs to consumers in the form of higher prices, which then lead to higher wage demands from workers, and so on. The Bank of England fears that such a spiral could cause inflation to run out of control and damage the economy. However, some economists and trade unions have argued that the Bank of England is unfairly blaming workers for inflation, while ignoring the role of capital in passing on higher costs to consumers. They point out that workers have suffered a real terms cut in their pay packets for the first time in more than a year, as inflation has outpaced wage growth. According to official statistics, average total earnings grew at an annual rate of 3.5% in November 2022, while regular pay grew by 6.5%. But after taking account of inflation, workers suffered a 1.6% cut in pay. Moreover, some sectors, such as loading slash stocking and hospitality, have experienced a real pay rise only because they were previously low paying and relied heavily on EU workers who left after Brexit. These economists and trade unions argue that workers deserve a fair share of the economic recovery and should not be asked to restrain their pay demands, especially when they face rising living costs due to energy bills and food prices. They also claim that businesses have been able to pass on higher costs to consumers without facing much resistance, as consumer demand has remained strong despite the pandemic and Brexit. They suggest that instead of raising interest rates and suppressing wage growth, the Bank of England should focus on addressing the underlying causes of inflation, such as supply chain bottlenecks, energy market failures, and global imbalances. They also call for more public investment and fiscal support to boost productivity and growth, which would enable higher wages without fueling inflation.